Okay, mysterious fires baffle firefighters in South Africa. Mysterious fires that apparently ignite spontaneously have, o have over the past two weeks destroyed the homes and belongings of a family in Hopewell near Thornville. The freakish fires have burned through the Mithembu family's main house, two low-cost houses in the yard, and another low-cost house belonging to the children across the street from the main family home. Uh, let's see. The steel basins had melted. Furniture family managed to pull out of the fire was thrown across the lawn as they kept watch over it. Mysterious fires. Think about the grass being all burnt up and all that kind of stuff. I mean, mysterious fires spontaneously happening. Do you need a reason other than God's hand is involved with it? I don't think so. I know I'm probably really making a lot of you people angry out there, aren't I? Too bad. Um, <laughs> sinkhole takes huge chunk out of a busy Canadian highway. Look at that puppy. A section of Highway 148 near Luskville, Ontario is now a canyon 18 meters deep, a victim of Friday's heavy rains. Remarkably, the family living next to the giant gap owns a construction company with experience or expertise and exactly the type of work that will be needed to fix the road. Very interesting. That is huge. Risks of war in Middle East rising daily in high stakes game of brinkmanship. Oh yeah, they're doing their little war games over there. We can read that after I post the links below. And yeah, the, more studies finds massive earthquakes that could strike California anytime. I mean, we know the San Andreas Fault is very active, and we know the big one could uh, easily hit L.A. or Los Angeles. But this is kind of interesting. It seems like that the Earth's floor is cracking there. So, and that's basically the same lines as uh where this fault line is. So, 100 years overdue. New Mexico wire fire closes Los Alamos nuclear laboratory. Lake Tahoe tsunami, the sleeping mega disaster waiting to happen. Lake Tahoe may be one of the most beautiful serene lakes in the world, but beneath the sparkling placid blue water lurks a monster. Three major faults lie under the lake, and if a series of them are activated by a large magnitude quake, landslides and lake floor buckling could generate a tsunami with waves as high as 10 to 100 meters. Scientists think all three faults could be linked to one another deep inside the earth, but it's hard to test that theory until one becomes active. <laughs> Well, I guess one will find out if it happens, huh? <laughs> when most people in Northern California think of the big one, they imagine a 1906-type earthquake rocking San Francisco, but it turns out that the Lake Tahoe region is also capable of having large earthquakes and even deadlier tsunamis. Seismologist Graham Kent said, We're heading right for the largest fault in the basin. The West Tahoe Fault ruptures about every four to 5,000 years. Its last rupture was about 4,500 years ago, so obviously there's some concern because we're at the end of that earthquake cycle. Hmm, interesting. Here's a little video for you. Of what could happen. Maybe. I don't know, I didn't watch this, so... Oh yeah.
interesting. All right, well, that's basically all I have for you guys. Um, should keep you guys pretty occupied for a little while. Um, you guys, stay alert. Things are really heating up. There are a lot of speculations going on. And uh, just be awake. You know, get right with God, get right with your Creator, and do the right thing. Until next time, stay safe. Truth be told, truth be known. Take care and God bless. Bye bye.